Hi, my name is Julie. Welcome to Preschool Storytime. Before we get started, I need you to go find three items and we're gonna use them later in story time. The first item is a hat. So find any old hat. Second item is find a scarf. The third item, socks. So hat, scarf, socks. And you can wear them or you could just set them aside. So go ahead and press pause on your video while you go find them and meet me back here. Welcome back. So we'll start today with hello friend and we'll use some sign language. So for hello, put your hand up to your forehead and do a salute. Hello. For friend, hold up one pointer finger, hold up the other pointer finger and have them hug like friends might hug. You ready? Hello friend, hello friend, hello friend, it's time to say hello. Let's try that one more time. Hello friend, hello friend, hello friend, it's time to say hello. Good job. So our next one, we're going to do, this is big, big, big. This is big, big, big. This is small, small, small. This is short, short, short. This is tall, tall, tall. This is fast, fast, fast. This is slow, slow, slow. This is yes. Yes, yes. This is no, no, no. Let's try it one more time. This is big, big, big. This is small, small, small. This is short, short, short. This is tall, tall, tall. This is fast, fast, fast. This is slow, slow, slow. This is yes, yes, yes. This is no, no, no. Good job. Today I'll be reading What Riley Wore, written by Alana K. Arnold and illustrated by Linda Davik. Published by Beach Lane Books, an imprint of Simon & Schuster. Welcome! On Monday, Riley wore a bunny costume because it was the first day of school and Riley felt shy. It was true that no one else in class wore a bunny costume. But it was also true that a girl who was crying asked if she could touch one of the ears. Riley said, yes, the ears feel just like real velvet. On Tuesday, Riley wore a superhero cape to the dentist office because teeth cleaning is scary and Riley wanted to be brave. The dentist asked, what's your superpower? Riley said, I'll have to get back to you on that. On Wednesday, Riley wore a ball gown out to dinner with Otto and Oma because they went to a fancy restaurant and ball gowns are the fanciest. When Riley spilled tomato soup, Oma used ginger ale to blot it out. A kid at another table said they should leave the stain just as it was because it looked like a star and stars are cool. Thursday was universe day at school. So Riley decided that outer space jammies were the perfect thing to wear. Riley's teacher loved the jammies and he asked Riley to stand on a chair while he pointed out the planets on Riley's back. Then everyone used scissors and glue and construction paper and made planets of their own. It rained on Friday, so Riley wore a colorful combination of rubber boots, a police officer jacket, and the world's best tutu. The crossing guard told Riley, I had a pair of rain boots just like that when I was little. The recess captain, 
A big kid in the sixth grade told Riley, I like your tutu. When the weather turned mild on Saturday, Riley dressed in a hard hat and overalls to help dad run errands. Three guys at the hardware store called Riley daddy's little helper, and one of them gave Riley a sticker. Riley didn't peel it away from its backing because maybe it would make a good present for a friend someday. When they got home, Riley tucked the sticker away for safekeeping and wondered if being a friend could be a superpower. Sunday was a lazy home day. Riley spent part of it wearing nothing at all. But when mom asked who wanted to go to the park, Riley put on one striped sock and one polka dot sock, purple jeans, the world's best tutu, a crazy monster shirt, red rubber boots, round aviator goggles, and a hat with dinosaur spikes. At the park, Riley felt shy. Then a kid from school walked up and asked, are you a girl or a boy? Riley said, today I'm a firefighter and a dancer and a monster hunter and a pilot and a dinosaur. Oh, said the kid, want to play? Yes. Then Riley reached into a pocket, pulled out the sticker and gave it to the kid. The kid smiled and Riley felt wonderful. The end. So we're gonna do the hokey pokey next, and this is where you want your socks, your hats, and your scarves. So for the socks, I'm just gonna hold it to put the socks in, but if you wanna use a sock on your foot, then you can just put your whole foot in with your sock. For the hat, again, I'm just gonna hold it and put my hat in, but if your hat is on your head, you can definitely put your whole head in with a hat. For the scarves, if you're like me and you have a really long scarf, um, what I usually do is I hold it in the center to make it shorter. And then, cause it's still too long, I hold it in the center again. And that makes it a lot easier to use. All right, let's get your socks ready. Let's put your socks in and put your socks out. You put your socks in and you shake them all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself about. That's what it's all about. You put your hat in, you put your hat out. You put your hat in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself about. That's what it's all about. And scarves. You put your scarf in, you put your scarf out, you put your scarf in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself about. That's what it's all about. You do the hokey pokey. You do the hokey pokey. You do the hokey pokey that's what it's all about good job everyone we're gonna end today with goodbye friend so we're gonna use the same sign language as hello friend except we'll say goodbye which is a wave goodbye and remember friend pointer finger pointer finger hug you ready goodbye friend Goodbye, friend. Goodbye, friend. It's time to say goodbye. All right, thanks for coming.